Hi guys, in this video, we are going over the blood vessels that we find in this model. Now, this is the duodenum or duodenum. Right here, we have the pancreas and this is the spleen. This is the anterior view. Let's look in the posterior view. And I want you to see this blood vessel right here. This blood vessel is split into three. This is the celiac trunk. And this branch right here is the left gastric artery, which is going towards the stomach. This blood vessel right here is going towards the spleen. So this is the splenic artery right here. And this one will go towards the liver. So this is the common hepatic artery. And the common hepatic artery is splits. And this one is the one that will end up into the liver, properly located in the liver. So, this one right here is the hepatic artery proper, okay? Wonderful. Now, if we know that this is the splenic artery and we see a vein right here also going towards the spleen, this is the splenic vein. We know that the splenic vein, the inferior mesenteric vein, and the superior mesenteric vein, they drain all the nutrients that were absorbed in our digestive tract and they dump into this portal that takes it all into the liver. So this one is the hepatic portal vein. I just said that this is the superior mesenteric vein. This one is the superior mesenteric vein. And right next to it, we have the superior mesenteric artery. Now, when you look in this view, it's very easy to see that this one is superior in relationship to this. So, this is the superior mesenteric vein. And consequently, this is the inferior mesenteric vein. The problem is that when we look at the model in this view, it seems like this one is superior. But that is not true. Guys, this one keeps being the inferior, you see? This is the inferior mesenteric vein. So when you look in the other view, this is also the inferior mesenteric vein. And these are the superior ones. So the blue one is the superior mesenteric vein and the red is the superior mesenteric artery. What you need to keep in mind is that these two, they crossed over. These are continuations of these blood vessels that you labeled correctly in the posterior aspect of the model. I hope this helps.